Hi and welcome! My name is Tolan and I'm the co-founder of Productivity Me. In this video we're going to look at how to print a file or print an Excel spreadsheet within Microsoft Excel. We'll do this by using the keyboard shortcut Control p as well as a series of alternative methods. So with that, let's get started. I'm going to launch Excel by again pressing the Windows key and typing in Excel, hitting enter, and opening up Excel in this method. Once we have Excel open, I'm going to open up an existing file. We're going to go here to other workbooks and let's say that we want to open up this file here called E111, customer tracking example with logo. So if we say had an example where we had something that we wanted to print, say we have a little table here that we wanted to print, we'd maybe give this border. Of course, there's a keyboard shortcut to do this, but who cares? So we have this little table that we want to print. The fastest way to print this would be to press the control key and the P key, P as in Peter. Pressing the control key and the P key will bring up this print menu. In Excel 2013, the print menu and the print preview function have been combined. So when we look at the keyboard shortcut for enabling the print preview in our next video, it will actually bring up that same menu that we have now. But again, once we press Control P, we'd have this menu. We can then choose the number of copies that we want. We can choose the printer location that we want to go to, how many or different types of sheets, whether we want active sheets or all of our sheets. We want to print on a single side or both sides. We want it collated or not, the type of margin, so on and so forth. So if I was ready to print this, I could say hit print and it would print that. Now, we'll exit out of our little printer friend. Okay, so the second method that we could use if we did not remember the keyboard shortcut of Control P would be again to come to our file menu. So I'm gonna bring my cursor up here, click on file, then we would go down to print. Clicking the selection of print would bring up that same menu. We could pick the number of copies, the printer or the device that we'd like to print to. A cool way to actually save documents is to Save it as an Adobe PDF. So once you hit print as an Adobe PDF, it would bring up this save as menu. You can save it as PDF. So again, the method that we would do would be to click the file menu and then print. We would make our selection and then hit print. I'm gonna actually exit out of this. A third method, I bet you can guess what it is, would be to press the Alt key, then the F key for the file menu, and then P for print. We press that and we get this same menu. Then we can use our keyboard in order to select different items. So if we wanted multiple copies, we could press the letter N and then scroll down. So maybe we want two copies, press the tab key and we could select these different items. Once we're ready, we would go make sure that we're back to print and we would hit okay. And because we have selected to save it as a PDF, it would bring up this actual dialog box. So with that, in this video, we covered three things. First was printing with the keyboard shortcut Control-P. This would bring up the print menu. Alternatively, we could use our mouse, come to the file menu, and go to print. That's a second method. And the third method would be to use our Alt key, activate our Windows ribbon. And once we have the Windows ribbon activated, we can press the F key, the P key, and then depending on which items we would want to change, we could press the tab key to move to those items, shift tab to move upwards or in the reverse direction. Once ready, we would cl click the enter key or press the enter key, it would print. So we were printing it as a PDF, an Adobe PDF, so it would actually save that file as a PDF. But that may have been a little fast. If you have any questions, you can of course post them on our discussion board. You can leave comments. You can send us an email at productivityme at gmail.com. However, we look forward to hearing from you in whatever method you wish to communicate with us. In our next video, we'll look at using the print preview function, which in again, Excel 2013, it's gonna be that same menu that we looked at but we'll look at achieving that result, going to that menu by using the keyboard shortcut Control F2. So if that's interesting to you, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.